please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer. Welcome, welcome back y'all. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back y'all. Welcome back. Y'all, I'm so hyped right now. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm so hyped right now. I don't even know why. Anywho, that's right. You read it. Cricket has an update. They have a few updates, and I'm going to go over all of them. For I think it's a 6.15 update, but one of the main ones, y'all, they're trying to get their life, is the background remover. Yes, come through, Cricket. I'm going to show you how to do it on a couple different photos. So, let's just jump right into it. Let's go. Okay, y'all, Cricket has some updates, so we about to just jump right into it. Okay, so what's new? Background remover. Yes, come through, Cricket. Let's get it started. So it's saying that it's easier now than ever to remove backgrounds from uploaded images. You do have to have the Cricut Access subscription. You use the automatic background remover to remove the backgrounds in one click. We're going to see because I have not done it yet. This is my first time jumping on here. So we're going to see what they're talking about. Okay, then it says feature images on home. You get inspired with regularly refreshed selection of new and interesting images from the Cricut library. Um, it's now at the top of the home screen. You can add to the canvases. Just hover over them and click them. Okay, then we have same feature, new functionality. You can save images to view for later. You click on the bookmark or the flag icon in the bottom right tile, and then it'll be easy for you to find them or even filter to find your flag favorites whenever you need them. Then recover unsaved canvases. Whew, okay, come through. Uh, and design space, if it quits unexpectedly and you forgot to save your project, they got our back now. Thank you, Cricut, because come on, that's something we needed, right? Um, all objects on your canvas will be, will be restored once you reopen the app. Come through. I like that one because um, that's happened to me several times, actually. Remember window size. If you like your design workspace that you're in, you'll love the new small but lovely app update where you'll be able to save, uh, save that same size. Okay, so it'll open up as the same size as a previous session. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. We could dig it. So these are the new in 6.15 updates. I'm excited let's just jump right into it okay so i have a couple images like i said i've not done this before i am oh excuse me about to go ahead and upload no that's not what i meant to do we're gonna upload an image oh y'all i'm nervous which one i want to do first Okay, so this gonna be kind of difficult. You see the little hairs and stuff. I don't know how this one gonna do, but we gonna. I want to get the real. I have three pictures that I'm gonna possibly try to do. All right, so this looks new. It's refreshed. Okay, I like the little blue and lavender. Okay, background remover, automatic, manual, more options. Still has the reduced colors and the col uh, color tolerance. Okay, so like I said, this is my first time in here with you guys, so I'm just looking. So here we have the background remover. It removes backgrounds to create ready-to-cut images automatically or manually. Then right next to it, it has where you can crop the image. And this is the automatic. This is the manual. Okay, so this is like how it was before. All right. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm nervous. With one click. Shut the door. Oh, it even got my hair right there. Y'all, I did not think it was going to get that. Oh, this popped off way better than what I thought. It took my foot away right there, but it got even between the hair. Well, let's zoom in because I can't even 
I didn't think it was going to do that good. Y'all got right there. Okay, I have a little bit of green right there, but that's not bad. Shut up. And there we go right there. It got took my foot away. So I'm going to try to restore that. Okay. So first, let's see. Okay, let's see. So now it took it away. Let's see if we could do the select that we previously did. So we previously had access to. So click on the areas you want to remove. So we go zoom in a little bit closer. And I'm going to see if it's going to take this green away. Okay. So it takes it away. Okay. Design space. Okay, so it's taking it away. It's taking away uh, little by little. I just wanted to see how it was going to be. Okay. So we're just going to leave it like that for now. But it did it good. Now let me bring my shoe back. So we're going to go to Restore. Where's my, oh, my shoe wasn't ever there. Oh, yeah, that's right. The bell bottoms cover my shoe up. So never mind. <laughs> Let's undo that. I thought it took my shoe away, but it didn't. You can't even see my shoe. All right. So there we, uh-uh. I didn't mean to do that. And then if you wanted to erase, let's see, you want to get just a little bit above my little hand. You could do that. Preview the cut image. Oop. Oh, that's what we doing. Okay. All right. Come through. And then if you want to get real close, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit here and there you could take away. A little bit right there. All right. Bam. Now we can use it as a print then cut image i like i did not think it was gonna do that good honestly okay cricket bam there we go so now we have that i'm not really making anything but we'll put it there just for fun okay so that's one image let's check out the other images okay so I wanted to show you different kinds. So that one was the kind with the colorful background, like you out at the park with your kids or something. This one is if you want to do something with professional pictures where it's like kind of seamless, then I'll show you one other one. Okay. So let's see. Oh, it did that. I don't even have to fix anything on this one. I don't think. Oh. Yeah, that one wiped that bad boy clean. It's nothing I need to fix. Come through, Cricut Design Space. Bam. And that's it. That one was, look how, oh, look how clean it got it, too. You can see with the cut images how clean stuff really is. All right. That was easy peasy. Okay, so we have two images, and now we're going to do... A unicorn image just because you know when people it depends on what you're using it for all right so let's see what we gonna do bam very easy so it cleared that one out completely so let's say if you wanted to keep it like that but let's say if you want oh, well let's not do that let's start on over Okay, let's say if you wanted to do it manually with this one. Okay, so this is only for Cricut Access. You see that A right there? So it's only for that. But if you do not have Cricut Access, you can still use these. Okay, you can still use the, the manual select. Also, if you need to crop, you can use that up top to crop your images. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do it manually 
So now if you wanted to keep the white inside of the unicorn, it just took it on the outside. Okay. Now, if you wanted to take certain parts out, you would just have to do it manually like that. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I personally don't know if you do not have Cricut access, how it looks and how it will go, but hopefully someone else possibly may be able to do a video or explain the process for that because I'm not aware of it. Uh, I believe the little bit that I did here is that I just don't want to tell y'all something wrong, but what I've heard word of mouth the phone the telephone game was that you just have the erase and the select so you just have and you can change the eraser size here so i heard you have to do it like this which can be one time consuming and also you have to be very careful right when you're getting into little tight spots like this you know, you have to really reduce that eraser size and try to be really careful when you're doing the outlines. Okay, so that's just what I heard. I personally, like I said, I don't have it. So I can't speak for it because I don't have it. I'm just talking about the new update for Cricut's at Cricut access so I do apologize but I heard that you still have the manual so yeah but anywho that's all I got for today y'all um yeah let's see we gonna open up the other one again all right so, and that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have not joined our Facebook group, Queen Germans, please join that. We love it over there. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. But yeah, um, I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.